Hannigan joining us. Oh, there's a look at look at those happy elves, right? Getting involved with the Salvation Army, you get to go out, have some fun with the Red Kettle Challenge, and uh, under two weeks, Major Chris Flanagan, tis it's hard, the season. It's hard to think in two weeks we'll be uh, celebrating. Actually, <laughs> not only that Christmas uh, about Christmas and all the Christmas season, but the fact that uh, once again we've had a great we've had a great season in the Tampa Bay area and St. Pete in particular, where we're serving. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to think that we're at we're at this point. I know uh, our family feels busy right now. You and your family over there, the Salvation Army, uh, must feel busy. I know there's a real big need for volunteers because there is so much going on. What do you want everybody to know this morning? How can people help? Well, our, our big thing that, you know, these next two weeks are our most critical weeks. This is where in our, in our kettle efforts, uh, these are our two best weeks. So we always encourage if you're if you got a few hours that you can give us to man one of our kettles at the various locations in, in the Tampa Bay area, uh, this is this is where we could really use your help. Um, you know, manning one of the kettles, whether it's for a few hours or whether you can take one all day, uh, it's it's just uh, it helps put us over the top. Of course, we're always looking uh, to finish up any angel uh, tree shopping that need that's left. Although we've had great support with our angel tree. I mean, you can see our, our toy distribution. We're getting it set up. We're ready for uh, distribution next week. We've had a great group of volunteers that have come out and made this. Of course, people in the community that adopt one of these angels, every, every item back here represents somebody in the community that's adopted one of the angels, mm -hmm. which represents a child in need this year. So, and for St. Pete, it's a little over 1,400. So. Uh, we just received tremendous support, but if we had that group that could help us get over the top in these final two weeks, that would that would just be an added blessing to us. You know, Major Flanagan, I'm assuming we're all familiar with hearing the bell, seeing the red kettle, but explain how when you give, it really does help neighbors right here in our own communities. Yeah, it is. It is helping your neighbor. The money that comes into those red kettles, the money that comes in through the virtual kettle, or online giving, it stays here locally. It impacts people locally. And, you know, our first obligation with any of that funds is to provide for those families who have come in and said, we need, we need help this year to provide holiday assistance for our families. But we try to remind people as well that what we do at Christmas, we do every day of the year with the exception of the toys. We feed, we shelter, we clothe. Um, I mean, here in St. Pete, we also run two foster group homes to where we, every night, there's, there's um, you know, 27 to 40 kids that otherwise wouldn't have a place to be and live. So for St. Pete, when you put that money into the red kettle or you give, yeah. once we take care of the Christmas needs, it continues to help throughout the year with uh, rent, uh, utility assistance, and so many ways to uh, provide for our fellow neighbor. Oh, I love that. Real quickly, tell us where you're at because it is a little, you know, I keep looking kind of behind you. I see diapers, which I know has got to be a huge need, I think, for families as well. You talk about the price of everything has gone up. It is, and this is what makes this season even more special. I'm actually at our toy distribution center that's at our um, St. Pete Citadel uh, down on Ninth Street um, in, in St. Pete. Um, but yeah, when you when you think of all the, the supply chain and things that the fact that people have been so gracious mm. to, to take one of these angels to say, I mean, we've had corporations, we had a, we had a group that took 125 children that made sure, I mean, when you're, you're talking about people that have brought bicycles in, brand new bikes, you know, um, to see how generous that, yeah, you know, ourselves, that if I get my hands on a pack of toilet paper, it, it's staying home, okay? Yeah. But, uh, and diapers, those type of things, they've been so kind, so generous. Yeah. But, you know, that's the way it is. It seems like our experience in the Salvation Army and in this community is that when there's a need, when there's, um, we suddenly look around and look at ourselves and realize how blessed we are and that we all have something that we can give. And so it just, it just uh, once again, it's a testimony of the generosity of the Tampa Bay area and how blessed we are to be a part of it. Well, we're blessed to be a part of it with you. ABCActionNews.com slash Kettles, where you can go for more information. And don't forget, you can donate digitally, too. So I love that as well, Major Flanagan. Thank yeah. you for being with us. Thank you. Can I say one more thing? Sure. Sure. I just want to leave you with this. Roll Tide.
<laughs> I love it. All right, you take oh, care. Thank you know. so much. I didn't Thanks know where he was going. I know I didn't either, but <laughs> it was. I thought good. I was going to ask for something. <laughs> hey, smiles.